so in the last class we discussed the different classifications of the numerical integrations the different methodology depending on the degree of curve now we'll start the um, uh, in brief discussions of each and every method that is the first method is nothing but our trapezoidal rule trapezoidal rule now what you can tell about this method first of all i can say it is the newton's coats method it is newton's coats method secondly i can say it is used for the polynomial of degree 1 polynomial of degree 1 means it can be used for the straight line straight line in the form y is equal to ax plus b okay now this method now suppose we have to integrate integration of i f of x dx having the limits from x0 to xn now how the trapezoidal rule evaluate the integration now suppose i have plotted the graph that is x versus f of x okay now this is my curve that is having the limits from x0 to xn okay now in the trapezoidal rule okay this is the corresponding point where you will get y0 and you will get yn now these two points will be joined this point is x0 y0 this is point of xn yn these two points will be joined with the help of a straight line have in the form y is equal to ax plus b now whatever this area is there this area this will be nothing but the error in the calculation and the area x0 y0 yn and xn is our area under the curve now the distance between xn and x0 is nothing but h okay now the area will be calculated by using the formula h by 2 y0 plus yn what is this y0 i can say i can write this h by 2 into f of x0 plus f of xn now how i can write xn xn is equal to x0 plus h because i am going to use the one major strip Therefore, I can write this further, h by 2, f of x0 plus f of x0 plus h. This is for a single strip. Now, if you observe the area in the pink shaded is much more. Now, to reduce that error, we can use the number of strips. We will use the more number of strips. Now, let us see if I am going to use the three different number of strips. Same curve, x versus f of x same limits are there that is x0 and xn now i will use a different number of strip that is three different strips one two and three each and every strip is having the same height strip height is same and that strip height is nothing but h everywhere it is a h this is my first area second strip and third strip is there now each and every strip will have a different points will be there i will say this is x1 this is x2 and i will say this is x3 now how to find out x1 it is x0 plus h x2 will be found by using x1 plus h or i can say x0 plus 2h then thirdly I can say x3 or xn is equal to x2 plus h or x0 plus 3 times of h. Similarly I will find out the corresponding point y0, y1, y2 and this is a y3 there. Now each and every point this will be joined with the help of a straight line. This will be joined with the help of a straight line. If you observe the error, error is very very less compared to the previous one. This is the error in the 
calculation then how to find out the total area i can say total area total area is equal to area of first strip plus area of second strip plus area of third strip now how to find out area of first strip area of first strip same formula h by 2 plus y0 plus yn now if you observe here it will create a trapezoid that's why it is called as the trapezoidal rule h by 2 into y0 plus yn what is this y0 that is in simple language i can say this formula height divided by 2 plus into summations of two parallel sides this is the first parallel side and this is the second parallel side therefore what will be the area of first strip this is my first strip having a trapezoid x0 y0 y1 and x1 is there now which are the two parallel side first and second okay therefore what will be the distance height is nothing but h by 2 first height plus second height that is y0 plus y1 are you getting or not then second one area of second strip that is height divided by 2 height divided by 2 summations of two parallel side first parallel side and second parallel side that is y1 plus y2 then third one it is h by 2 that is y2 plus y3 now you combine all this thing that is total area total area is equal to h by 2 into y0 plus y1 plus h by 2 into y1 plus y2 plus h by 2 into y2 plus y3 now let us see h by 2 is common everywhere h by 2 i can combine y0 plus y1 plus y1 plus y2 plus y2 plus y3 now again further we can simplify this one h by 2 into y0 plus y3 plus 2 times of y1 plus y2 is it there in simple language i can write here i can write height divided by 2 into I can write first value plus last value plus 2 into summation of remaining values summations of remaining values now this is just an explanation how to evaluate the integration by using a trapezoidal rule. Now we will take one practical example for this that is how to evaluate the integration. Now all of you should have a calculator and uh, note down the numerical. Okay. Uh, now numerical says that is evaluate the integration of evaluate the integration of i is equal to sin x dx having a limit from 0 to pi 0 to pi using 6 major strips using 6 major strips now see these are called as a strips one first strip second strip and third strip now like this there will be the 6 number of strips will be there now how to evaluate it now let us see what is value of x0 x0 is 0 what is value of xn xn is pi value of f of x is equal to sin x and n is equal to 6 total major strips are 6 then h will be evaluated by using a formula xn minus x0 divided by n Therefore, what will be value? That is pi minus 0 divided by 6. Therefore, that will be equal to pi by 6. Now, this is the step height. H is nothing but our step height. It is equal to pi by 6. Now, we will prepare one table. X value and Y value. What is this Y? Y is equal to f of X. That is Y is equal to f of X. That is equal to sin X. Remember that your calculator should be in the radian mode. Now, first value x this is the x0 what is x0 x0 is 0 then x1 
What is x1? x0 plus h. x1 is equal to x0 plus h. Therefore, x1 will be equal to pi by 6. x2 will be equal to x1 plus h. That will be equal to 2 pi by 6. x3 will be equal to 3 pi by 6. x4 will be equal to 4 pi by 6. x5 will be equal to 5 pi by 6 and x6 will be equal to pi that is equal to 6 pi by 6 that is equal to pi now using your calculator you evaluate the answers of uh, uh, what is the answer that is y0 y0 is equal to sine of 0 evaluate this answer 0 evaluate the answer that is y0 okay now all of you evaluated the answer by using calculator you will get the answer of sine 0 is equal to 0 sine pi by 6 is equal to 0 0.6 0 0.5 sorry 0 0.2 pi by 6 is equal to 0 0.866 sine 3 pi by 6 means it is pi by 2 sine pi by 2 is equal to 1 sine 4 pi by 6 is 0 0.866 5 pi by 6 is equal to 0 0.5 and 0 if you observe here the values are being repeated after pi by 2 let us see it is a pi by 2 3 pi by 6 means it is pi by 2 it is 1 here value is 0, 0, 0. 0.866, 0. 0.866, 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5. The values are being repeated but, uh, because it is a sine curve is there. Now we will evaluate the total area. What is our formula to evaluate total area? Total area is equal to h by 2 into, see this formula, first value plus last value plus 2 into summations of remaining values. What is the first value? First value is 0 plus last value is 0 plus 2 into summations of remaining value 0.5 plus 0 0.866 plus 1 plus 0.866 plus 0.5 Evaluate the answer, the total area. What is value of h? h is equal to pi by 6. Uh, just calculate the answer by using calculator. You will get the answer of 1.954. If you evaluate it by using a calculator, you will get the answer is equal to 2. You will get the answer is equal to 2. Therefore, uh, you may have understood how to solve the numericals. We can solve the different numerical based on this. Okay. Now, just try in your uh, assignments, we are giving a different uh, variety of the numerical, you try to solve the that assignment numerical and uh, you can see the visit our website that is sites.google.com oblique sanjuni.org.in oblique nmo. I will write this address that is http yes, sites dot google.com oblique sanjeevani dot org dot in oblique nmo you can also visit to our old website that is a pm patare and wordpress.com both are same you will get the both the answers just try this and uh, the next methodology we will study in the next lecture thank you